Hello, Gemini Star Seeds. If you are returning back to my channel, thank you. If you are new to our channel, welcome. Now, this is going to be your reading for the week of April 25th through May the 1st. So, all right, Star Seeds, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card here and. Uh, this is going to be your crowning energy. Okay, expression. All right. So, that is a beautiful card. And along with that, I'm going to now pull a few cards of the uh, Star Seed Oracle. Okay, this is the first one here Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning. Yes, you are. You have been, Gemini. You've been, um, you know, thinking about your future, thinking about your potentials, and being fearless. And that is fantastic to do. Nobody else can do it but you. You already know. You already know. And that soul growth, well... That's an emotional maturity that uh, we're all kind of going through right now. We have another Mercury in retrograde coming up, and we have all been kicked in the behind with these ascension symptoms. You already know. Some of us going to the doctor thinking that we're dying, and it's just our crown chakra, you know, trying to align us to our inner guidance. That's what that is. That's your soul growth. Okay, all right, let me pull another one. Your life is a canvas, that's right, and you are the artist, you are the master manifester. So, but what you're gonna create? What are you gonna create, right? That is what you need to uh, center yourself about, okay? Because even though you are that master manifester, you know, make things happen, um, we already know you can get in your way too because you get in your head whenever you're all heart, honey. So, let me pull one more. Star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in the support. That's right. The Star Seed Hotline. That's what you need to call. <laughs> Just call. That's all. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's your soul family. And let me tell you, sometimes it feels like your soul family is thicker than your blood. Thicker than your blood family. And that's all right. Because look, right now, you are in the middle of some life lessons for your soul growth. That's what you're studying for right there and that takes you to a higher perspective okay all right now I'm going to pull a crystal grid card let's see what crystals that you're needing to work with to help you to help you with all of this learning, with all of this soul growth, okay? And let's see what's going to help you get some clarity about the manifestations, right, that are knocking at your door, okay? Because you know that you are, you're the golden child. Ooh, soul journey. That's right, look at that. And it's all about the throat chakra. You see this blue? Those blue crystals and stones are indicative of the throat chakra. That means an authenticity. So you're working on your authenticity. That's what you're working on. You're working on, you know what, being able to, to say what you mean and mean what you say and working on having your your reality match it you know 
that's your authenticity. That's the authenticity that you're working for, Gemini, is walking the talk. That's what it is, walking the talk. That's what you're doing. You're working hard, blood, sweat, and tears, because you're worth it. All right, I'm going to read this, and look at that. That's the number five. And five means change, means positive change. Okay, number five, soul journey. Number five. All right, soul journey, release, and patterns. Nice. So, do more, do more tired, time right. Oh, I just broke that all up, didn't I? <laughs> okay, it is a stone to assist you in discovering your soul journey. Also, there is kyanite in here and quartz there. So you want to take a look right there. And for those of y'all, and I apologize, I could not pronounce that. Uh, there it is right there if you can see it. Okay. And quartz. So, do you know what you are here to do in this lifetime? And have you always had a sense of purpose that you just must act on? And do you feel you may have brought in karmic life lessons or obstacles from past lives? So, these crystals can assist you with your past life influences. And the kyanite will help release blockages, allowing more flow into your life. And it helps you to tune in to your intuition, which is always, here we go, I'm holding the card up so you can see it right there, yeah. Which is always the key to unlocking the answers to your questions. So it is time to pay attention to what your soul is saying. And it's a time to evaluate what your purpose is in this lifetime. Why are you here? And what do you feel you need to be doing? You may already be on your way, but maybe there are contracts or agreements that have been made before reincarnating that you realize do not serve you in this lifetime. Ooh, star seeds. That is a big message. It's giving me chills right there. So, this do more, and I'm going to cut that name short because I can't, can't pronounce it. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Can assist you to contact guides. Ooh, blue calcite is good for that too. I know, does this say? No, it's kyanite and quartz. But I can tell you the blue calcite is really good for that if you can't find this stone um, that this soul journey card is talking about so um, all right so that stone can assist you to contact guides for help with these matters this help may lead to the removal of obstacles or give you new insight to keep you moving forward just remember that all you need to do is ask for help your soul knows its way so ask for guidance. An automatic writing can be very beneficial here. Or even just writing down questions for yourself to answer. Write the first thing that comes to mind and trust in what you write and receive. Ooh wee. That was powerful. Yes, do some automatic writing. You know, look. Look at a candle. You stare at a flame. Right? and just make the focus, that candle. Okay, Gemini? And then you have your focus, right, on, on a flame. But and then at the same time, focus in on a repetitive sound in the background, right? It could be the, you know, the hum of the AC clicking on and off, or like in the background, our turtle aquarium. You know, I can hear the water filtering. Just a sound that can help you get to that altered state. And you can do it. You can do it. Burn some sage, you know, it's all about the presentation. 
Just put it all together like that and sit there, pen and paper, and do that. Write down some questions for yourself that you're going to answer. And just know that whatever you write down, that is guidance. That is your higher self, your spirit guides, your ascended masters. Any soul contracts that you have going on still with loved ones that or familiars that have already made their transition. Okay? It's all of them loving you and supporting you. Because you're a star seed. And you're here to first, like this card, have your life lessons and through soul growth, study for that higher learning. Okay? That's what you're here to do. And as you do that, then you are adding your piece of this puzzle of life you're adding your then you can put your puzzle piece down and say here you go I did this is my piece right here in raising the level in conscious collective right that's what you're here to do so get this party starting Get it yourself. Get get out of your way, okay? Because, baby. All right, let's see what this expression is about. Okay, you see that? This expression. Because this was your, your crown, your crowning energy. All right, let me read that to you. <coughs> All right, so this card guides you to speak your mind. After all, that's one of the reasons that you came here to Earth for. And for so long, people have not spoken up for themselves. Yeah, that's your authenticity. And as a result, humanity has lived under the tyrannical control of those with power ego power, you know. And now it's time for change. And you are one of the spiritual warriors in this charge of initiating that shift. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So always speak your mind. In other words, always be authentic. But also be aware of how others react to your to your declarations. Ask the angels to guide you. Ask your guides to guide you. To communicate in ways that allow you to be heard. And if you can express yourself in a manner that people can relate to, then your concerns and opinions will be much better received. Listen to that. That's right. That's right. That's what you're doing. You're a spiritual warrior. Look at you, Gemini. And you're very intuitive being the golden child. You're very intuitive being the master manifester. Why are you crying? You got this. You got this. All right, Gemini star seeds. I'm going to leave it right there. And I will be seeing you next Monday for your new week reading. Have a blessed week until we, you know, talk again. Please like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to have something more personal, go to our website at twinflamemystique1111.com and look into the spirit session. All right? Okay. I will see you in a week. Let's see what you come up with.